What's up, folks? How are you doing? Welcome back to Football Digest Daily, where, as always, you get to serve you some footballing juice. Juice. Um, Krugenzi Mkua lisema, ukisema juice, lazima ufunge macho. So, Abel, yeah, kisema si tunakubali. Yeah? Uh, so, yeah, as always, we know here we eat, sleep, football, and then we repeat all over again. As always, man, that's that's what we are all about on Football Digest. All right? So, it's a beautiful Friday, man. Ah, even if your Friday is in a kukua. Second Friday of the year, I think. Looking good, looking good. So it's been a busy week in terms of football. A lot of action, action happening in the Premier League. La Liga uko kumekona action. Uh, pia kumekona some action in Italy. I will not talk about that much. Yeah, it's quite that interesting. So first of all, here of course I talked about the Man United win on Tuesday. They beat Burnley, went top of the Premier League. Uh, Wednesday we had uh, Brighton taking on Manchester City at Etihad Stadium. The only shocker there was going to be if Manchester City did not win. Okay, so they won. So that was expected. The only thing that was not expected was the scoreline. One nil win against Brighton. Mm. Uh -uh. That was unexpected. Uh, you expect a bit more, but you got a bigger Brighton man while he come through for themselves, man. Even though they lost, they, they, they should get out of that game with their, head held high, with their heads held high. Yeah, especially their goalkeeper Sanchez. Hey, Sanchez are coffee You could see why Matt Ryan and Equa Bench. Hey, Sanchez are fine. You can you can do your game, but yeah, hey, I'm saying coffee And then of course Sterling are going to pen. That you are saying when this is our FPL, we will make your story. Hey, FPL game week 18, he a terrible. Wah, <laughs> I'll get there. Uh, then we had Spurs taking on Fulham, a game of course which was a derby, which we expected Spurs to win easily because in Spurs on a chase at home against Fulham, we all know about Fulham, how terrible they have been. The result was a shocker. Yeah, but like they say on Futabanta is the fucking Premier League, man, nothing is guaranteed here. Spurs were held to a one all draw by, by Fulham. They scored a goal in the last minutes by uh, courtesy of Legiron, uh, Regilon that was cancelled off. I look off. But you gotta agree, Ile cross aliwekea hurricane. Ah, your cross ni mafuta. Tamu kuruka. Um, so yeah, that was a shocker. Then yesterday we had Arsenal taking on Spurs, uh, taking on, uh, what do you call this team? Crystal Palace, a London derby again, which were held to a no, uh, to a nil nil draw. Boring draw, maze. Ataka, you could see Crystal Palace, maze, wali kuja kukaza bana. Hey, wametuwekea basi pale. Of which you could not break down our passes in the final third was just not coming through. We are a bit off with that. We could not get a shot. You know, we had so much of the ball. I can't recall how many times I saw the keeper saving though. Guaitas Kumuki Marangapi Niliona Aki make saves. Si mingi. Si mingi. So yeah, it is what it is. But yo, at least we got to so uh, we got to so uh we got to see Jesus. We got to see Thomas Party coming back and of course he's gonna be starting the Newcastle game. I'm, I'm excited about that as an Arsenal fan. Um, also in the next game, Martinelli is going to be coming back. I feel he's going to add a different dimension to our attack. And it's going to be interesting to see how we'll handle Aubameyang. It's big one. I feel like I'm push Aubameyang. Sana. Okay, Jana Alijari, but I felt like he worked hard. He had a few misplaced passes. But Martinelli is Kirudi. I don't want to play Martinelli with your wing. You're left. You're going to Martinelli. Aubameyang, relax, Kidogo. Relax. He's a captain, we agree, but uh, relax. Yesterday, some guys had some fantastic games, but they guys like Xhaka, while he a Vizuri Sana, uh, he was all over the place again. A few misplaced passes from him, but yo, I think overall he had a fantastic game. Danny Ceballos had another good game. That's how he was supposed to be playing all these other games. And kwa Chesa, even consistently, Sasa, tunge kwa tunafikia kumpea permanent contract, lakini Sasa yae ni mjinga. Okay, si mjinga, but... Ajikwa keep putting such performances consistently, so yeah, that's why he's gonna be leaving come summer. Um, hmm. One guy who had a terrible game is Maitland Niles. Jana Niles, Joe. Uh, Shida ni Kirantania make a benchmark so high that when Niles comes in and puts in such performances, Zinaka is super poor, even though they were. As in benchmark, Kirantani go go Joe, rooftop. So to match up with that is quite difficult, and he did not. He did not. We were clearly missing Kerantien yesterday. Kuna some balls in Yenani alikuwa na ikoni ngadi kwa juu tu wa line kwa ni Kerantien tu. Whipping your cross with bias sana. But yo, it didn't happen and it is what it is. So, Niles had a terrible game. I would say he was a worst performer yesterday. He was a worst performer. The partnership between Luis and Holding, I could come with Bayer, he was too sour. Bellerin, he was not worse than Niles, that's for sure. Uh, uh, Smith Rowe alikuwa fiti, Bukayosaka, not one of the best nights, but Overall, I think he had a good performance, I would say. So, nil-nil draw. A game I expected maybe we shall win, but Crystal Palace being Crystal Palace. 
walitwekea basi na tukuweza ku break down unfortunately and so just like that tunabaki tukiwa number 11 and sasa Leeds United wakicheza their game in hand because they have they have played 18 games Leeds have 17 wakishinda hiyo wanatupita sasa tunatremka to 12 ah you got to hit being at the bottom man all right so this week has been a crazy one for draws especially as in vitu zimekuka jana in in la liga it was not la liga though i think ilikuwa ni copa del rey amani gani real madrid were knocked out of the Copa del Rey final, as in they will not be getting to the final, they are in the semis, they were knocked out by Athletic Bilbao. Yeah? As if that was not a shocker, on Wednesday, Bayern Munich were knocked out by a championship side. Championship Bundesliga 2, if I call it. Championship ya Germany. Ilikuja na ikapiga Bayern na ikawatoa out of the DFB Pokal Cup. Bayern Munich. Crazy, right? Yeah, super crazy. But you got to love it, that's football for you. Um, but they won on penalties though, but it was a fantastic game. I watched the highlights. Ah, yo, ilikuwa hatari. Ilikuwa hatari. Um, also this week, God Mahe were in action yesterday in the Kenya Premier League. Of course, God were matches against Chache Sana, thanks to their trips for the uh, CAF Champions League qualification matches. Now I think they have played four games. They won, they beat Mathara United 3-1. They're back to winning ways. Chetu wane kawata pikan from that. That was interesting. Today we shall be having the match week digest of match week 19 in Anza Kesho. Games Kali Sanders in a Chezwa Pale. Quite a couple of games that are interesting. Actually, I think they're just two. <laughs> Kuna Liverpool, of course, hosting Manchester United. That's the big one. And then we have um, Leicester City taking on Southampton. The last time, Munakumuka Temflani wali Cheza Watu Kakula Bautisa. Yeah. Yeah, those two teams you'll be meeting again. And they have been fantastic from Leicester and Southampton. They have been playing well. They are top of the top, are going top seven, I, I would say, of the Premier League. I'm top eight. Uh, Leicester, of course, were called fourth. Uh, Southampton was cost you number nine, I'm number seven, around there. So it's it's gonna be a good match that one. Of course, my team is gonna be playing against uh, Newcastle on Sunday. Chelsea are gonna be tackling uh, who is it? Fulham. Uh, yo, I think Watashinda. But after what happened at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, eh, you can never be too sure. You can never be too sure. So we shall be digesting those matches today from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. alongside Melvin. We are supposed to be doing uh, match week 18 with him, but I quack out, so we are trying to do it again tonight. All right, so that one is, is it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, in terms of transfers, today I'm being a bit quick, <laughs> I'm short of time. <laughs> um, in transfers, not much has really happened, honestly. Um, Fosu Mesa is being linked again with moving to Leverkusen. I think that deal should be completed sometime next week. Another guy who's gonna be on the move, it seems, it's gonna be Fikayo Tomori. Seems like he's gonna be joining AC Milan. They have been interested in him for a minute. Um, so that one might happen. Deli Ali is now being linked with uh, PSG move. Apparently, Pochettino might take him on loan uh, to PSG this January. We shall see if that's, that's going to happen. Uh, Leipzig are now being linked with having made a pre-contract uh, agreement. Is it called like that? A pre-contract agreement with uh, Balogan. Balogan apparently are going to 15 clubs. Zinamsuta. 15 clubs and he's going to pick a Balogan. Now I'm to I don't know how true these claims are. I saw somewhere when Kwasi must do Balogan appear number ten jersey. Did you attack who assured us of how many appearances next season? I'm like, yo, relax, man. Jeez. So all of a sudden, we attack number ten. After we just make more than ten appearances for Arsenal, as if the agents here are just pushing it way too much, man. When I say Balogan, I can't buy. You know the fans, we don't like to do that. When I say we, we can't attack Shika Ranso. You know, that shit cannot work, man. Way too many demands for a guy who has not made more than 10 appearances for Arsenal. A chase the chini, man. Of course, he's going to get some game time, but not with that approach. Not with that approach. So, I don't know how true this is, but we should definitely, again, try to keep Balogan as much as we can. Balogan ni atari, man. We want to another Nabri. Yeah? Nabri mwenye tulitupa tu hivi hivi, akaenda akanza kutesa ku Bayern Munich. Sato wataka kufanda the same with Balogan. But wakiaza hizo maujinga, you might as well just let him go, man. Hizo ma, hizo ma demands ni mingi sana. But yeah, kuna rumors that he has had a, an agreement with Leipzig. I don't know how true that is. We shall see. Um, Upamecano is another guy who's going to be leaving Leipzig come the summer. They are open to letting him go. They shall be losing him for 42 million euros. You take a chip sana for the kind of defender he is. Hey, na hapo na juo ma clubs imepiga line hivi. Zina ziki mtafuta. I understand Chelsea might be in for him. Uh, I'm sure other clubs will be in for him for sure with, uh, in just a matter of time now. Just a matter, a matter of time. So that's what's up. That's what we have to digest today. Don't forget to catch up with us from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. today as we digest Match Week 19 of the Garden Premier League.
okay as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube if you're watching it on igtv please follow us and double tap cheers and a double tap come a council a lafu as always don't forget to take your mask up and sanitize as much as you can have a fantastic friday god bless